Whoa, welcome, 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 welcome to Wrestle Cram. This is your boy, your host, with the most, but humble. I do mean humble. D Nostra Novice, aka Derek, and I am here on a Sunday to give you AEW's Forbidden Door. It is truly crazy. Um, I will say uh, we're gonna uh, before you, before you do anything. Thank you, thank you so very much for allowing me to grace your um, y your presence with the little time that I know y'all do have. I thank y'all for you know just watching the show. You know, showing the love um, that you bestow upon me. Once again, I don't do this. I do this because I enjoy, it, but I also do it because of y'all. And I thank y'all for that um, from the bottom of my heart. Um, and before I do anything, uh, go ahead and watch the show. Watch the show. Watch it. If you like it, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you think that thumbs up is a little beneath you and you want to do a little bit more, keep the thumbs up. Keep the thumbs up. Keep it. Keep keep thumbs. Um, go ahead and hit that subscription, okay? Go ahead and hit it. Go ahead and do that for me. You know, I love y'all so much. When you do that, it makes me happy. And, uh... <laughs> And on top of that, uh, if you want to do more, if you and, and I, I do a lot of shows, you guys. If you want to do more for me, go ahead, hit the bell icon. Hit that bell icon. I do five core shows every single week. This is not one of them because we only do the pay per views when we have to. When I when we when I have to, um, but um, we do have uh, Forbidden Door to talk about. And, um, I will say this, uh, uh, man, it was very long, just like, uh, Double or Nothing was very long, but when I tell you that these shows truly deliver, they truly deliver. I was talking to, uh, Nico, um, you know, I think toward the end of Forbidden Door, and he was like, he, he just asked me a question. It was just one question. It was like, hey, um, what do you think about this compared to, you know, the WWE? And I was just being comical. But uh, I did say, like, the, the buy-in matches were better than the main event matches. I was being a little sarcastic, a little snarky. Um, but I will say this. Um, every match... On this card, deserve to be on this card. Yes, there are a ton. When I say a ton of injuries, not only on the AEW side, but on the New Japan side, um, we have um, people that are sick. We have people that are injured. We got people that are out. You know, and and the way they made this card still. Like just mind blowing, just crazy how how we got this taken care of. I was truly baffled that we even got this taken care of. I'm very happy that we got it taken care of and we got it out the way. But uh, man, I, I hopefully we get another forbidden door um, through a through them as well. I mean, man, it was just really good. I respect everything that happened. <clears throat> truly, and, and the crazy part about it is, the main event was pretty much the best match of the night. Uh, the Tanahashi and um, John Moxley intro match. We already know who won that match. If you don't, spoiler, it was John Moxley. We kind of knew that. Um, but um, I will say, hold on, wait a minute. I got to write that down as well. Um, out of all of the matches... I think I'm over 500 now, you guys. Um, I have nine matches that I predicted that was right. And I got four matches wrong. That was really creepy. Uh, I, I did a great job this go around with me just flipping a coin. You know, so I, I'm very proud of myself for doing that as well. Um, I wouldn't have changed anything on the card you know, uh, changing different matches. The only thing that I probably had a gripe about 
was that uh, New Japan does have a women's division or a a, a totally just a women's uh, wrestling organization. Uh, I think it's called Stardom, I think it is. I forgot what it's called. Um, but uh, I, I would have liked to see uh, more women on the uh, AEW side against some women on the New Japan side. Uh, some Joshi wrestling. I would have loved to see that. Um, unfortunately, we did not see that. We only had the Thunder Rosa and Tony Storm match, which was very good. It was in my top three. Thunder Rosa is probably one of the greatest um, women matches I've seen in a very long time. Or not. I truly enjoy those matches. Those, uh, her, I mean, goodness gracious. Um, but... Um, what else can I talk about before we go into it? I think that's it. I think that's it. That's all I'm going to talk about right now. But um, let's go into the actual card. Uh, we have 9, 10, 11, 12. It is 12. That's 9, 10, 11, 12. 13. It's 13 matches on this card. And wow. Uh, so we got the buy-in, which was, I think, four matches. Was it four matches? Yeah, it was actually four matches. On the buy-in or whatnot. So, first and foremost, we got um, uh, QT Marshall and Solo versus Gota and Yoshi uh, Yoshi Hadiashi. I think it's Hadiashi. <coughs> I'm going to apologize in advance, you guys. I I am going to destroy these these great wrestlers' names. Please, please forgive me. That match was really good. I enjoyed it times twelve. Uh, <laughs> QT Marshall, I don't know why you need to stop. Please stop trying to throw yourself over that ring. You're going to kill yourself eventually or break your neck. Stop it. You are a great wrestler. I enjoy you. You're a hoss. Be a hoss. Uh, apparently, he tried to do uh, the diamond cutter. Which beautiful. Or tried to do a beautiful uh, diamond cutter. And he also tried to do a uh, 450 splash. And it was no go on that. Uh, fell uh, face first on the ground. Uh, at the end, Gota and uh, Yoshi did do a beautiful, nice little finisher on Solo to win the match. Um, great, great opener. They did a great job with that great opener. Um, after that, we got uh, Nick uh, Nick Camarado uh, versus uh, Lance Archer. You know me. I love Lance Archer times 12. We did not uh, get any Jake the Snake though. That was kind of weird. So I hated that we didn't we didn't see Jake the Snake. Um, they're two big, bulky hoss men. You already know they are hoss. So you know this is gonna be a crazy match. Um, he um, Archer does that really nice old school where he goes well not old school but he does he walks the um the ropes. Great, beautiful. Uh, I can't wait to see Lance with that belt. I know we have another face as a champion now. Like, we've had back-to-back -back faces, and, uh, you know, that that gets old pretty fast. So, hopefully, you know, uh, CM Punk does come back as a heel with his own little faction. I like that. We'll, we'll see what happens. But um, but Lance Archer did win um, with that uh, beautiful uh, blackout. Um, I mean, I, I seen Nick Camarado. I seen him one last time. Uh, I think he had a tag match with somebody, but I didn't know he was uh, New Japan. He's more New Japan than he is AEW. So after that, we got uh, a Swerve Strickland versus Keith Lee. Uh, let me versus Keith, uh, Keith Lee versus uh, Keith Lee and Swerve Strickland versus El Desperado and Yoshi uh, Camarati. I think it is. I don't know. I'm sorry, y'all. Um, Swerve and Keith Lee did get the win. Um, with that beautiful, uh, you know, um, Keith Lee has a beautiful power slam. You know, he doesn't do the the uh, the power bump all the time. He did a nice, but the 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 craziness is that you know they're trying to coexist after the uh, if you rewind, uh, Swerve did throw uh, Keith Lee over the ring at the uh, Royal Rumble. Keith Lee is still kind of butt hurt behind that. So, but they have been racking up wins left and right. And, you know, 
in kayfabe wise, I mean, Swerve has showed you, has proven to you that, hey, I'm in this for the long haul. That was a one-on-one -on -one match. And, of course, I'm going to try to win. So, I'm going to throw you over. I mean, it makes perfect sense. So, um, in this match, uh, Swerve accidentally does, uh, works, uh, accidentally kicks um, Keith Lee in the leg, you know, injuring the leg. Um, now, El Desperado and um, um, other gentlemen, uh, <laughs> they are working the hell out of this leg of, of Keith Lee. I mean, every every second, it's just they're trying to work on it. So eventually, they work the leg so great that he is on the outside and Swerve cannot tag. So they have singled out Swerve for the majority of the match until Keith Lee uh, maintained his composure where he did um, do the beautiful power slam to win the match. Um, also, um, both of the opponents from the um, New Japan side, they did. Uh, they were. They did some. One did a um, inverted um, um, elbow. I mean, a knee move on to uh, Swerve. It was really nice. Um, and somebody and they were and the other gentleman was doing a he did a, a figure four a figure four on to Keith Lee Keith Lee got I mean the gentleman that was doing the inverted um, uh, high spring um, um, submission hold grabbed him threw him onto the other guy that was doing the figure four on him I mean like wow just crazy I I, I enjoy what they're doing with Keith Lee and Swerve Strickland. Uh, you have a face and a heel on the tag team. So we'll see what happens uh, eventually. I think they said they are ranked now, I think, number four. So at the end of the match, we see Powerhouse Hobbs and Ricky Starks. I love Ricky Starks. Even for, He's from New Orleans, but I love him. Um, they talk about, you know, y'all have beaten everybody, but y'all still have not de defeated us one on, uh, on a tag team, just one-on-one one one or two-on-two. Two. Uh, so we'll probably get a blood and guts match uh, from them on uh, AEW Dynamite because we don't we didn't get a card from them so I don't know how that's gonna work. Um, after that we got the uh, main event of the um, of the uh, buy-in which was uh, the Acclaim and the Gun Club or the the Acclaim and Matt Casher versus the uh, New Japan Dojo. So what happened was um, they came out and um, <laughs> Dan Housing, uh, I guess, is playing with them or, you know, taunting them. And both Billy Gunn's sons run to the back. So now it's four against two. You got Matt Caster and Billy Gunn versus the dojo. Um, they are, they're not good. You know, Billy did a great job with... Um, I mean, they, they did uh, get them a, a really good at one time. But, you know, they, I, I truly knew that they were going to win. I didn't know they were going to win like this two against four. But Billy did a Famouser and Caster did a mic drop uh, to win the match. So they did win the match. It was just two on. And we never seen the, the, the boys again. We never seen the sons again, which is really weird. So, um, after that, we get the main card, and it did not disappoint. We got Chris Jericho, Sammy Guevara, and, uh, um, 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 uh, <laughs> um, Monora, uh, oh my god, I have, uh, Suzuki, <laughs> we'll say Suzuki, versus Eddie Kingston, Willa Yuta, and, uh, Unu. Uh, so, um, I already knew that Chris Jericho and them was going to win. To uh, uh, if they did win, they were going to have the advantage. We still don't know what that advantage is, and once again, I, I think they kind of dated it too early because you have this match and then you have the match after, which is really weird. You know, you got your seasonal shows, and you after right right after your pay per view, you have the seasonal show. But uh, Chris Jericho did win with the Judas Effect. Um, it was a very crazy match because, you know, 
Eddie Kingston, I mean, his fighting style is very, very dirty, very just brawly, and he could not contain himself. That's the thing with Eddie Kingston. He doesn't know how to contain himself. So he's just a, 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 a ticking time bomb when it comes to fighting. And Chris Jericho is more of a composed wrestler. He tr He knows how to make his shots work and everything. So you have the sports entertainers versus the wrestlers. Um, they will have their uh, advantage now um, at on Wednesday. After that, we get the three-way tag match. Who the winner takes all? We have the Great Okun, Jeff Cod versus um, well Jeff Cod, the United Empire versus FTR versus Rapungi Vice. I chose. Um, Jeff Cobb versus Great Khan because of the situation between AEW, I mean, not AEW, but um, AAA, and, you know, they're not collaborated with them. FTR is actually the AAA champions. You did not see the belts on them, so that's how that was going to happen. But um, at the beginning of the match, we did, we found out that uh, Caster is um, injured from FDR. His shoulder must have gave out. So he was already injured. Man, this injury bug is all over. But um, he, but what happened was he, I mean, it was a, it was a crazy match. Um, it wasn't my cup of tea when it comes to these uh, triple tag team matches. Like the match, that was on double nothing was really good. Hands down, really good. Uh, you had Swerve uh, and F, uh, Swerve, Jungle Boy, yeah, the, uh, well, Jurassic Express, Swerve, Keith Lee, and um, Team Taz. That match was really good. Uh, and I guarantee if uh, Jeff Hardy was, wasn't was still being Jeff Hardy, we would have had a really great triple threat with Jurassic, Jurassic Express, Young Books, and the Hardys. So, but um, we did get a, a, a pretty decent match. Um, FTR did win. Now they have the Ring of Honor titles, the New Japan titles, and now the Triple A titles. They are dripped in gold, you guys. I cannot wait to see FTR versus Young Books again so we can... Um, have them with four belts. They are dripped in gold. Do not go back to WWE. <laughs> Goodness gracious. So, um, after that, we get a Bullet Club a promo with Jay White and Juice Robinson. If you don't know, Juice Robinson um, has, has stolen the United States, the IWGP United States uh, title. Um, the champion is... Um, a Will Ospreay, but he never got the belt. Will uh, Juice Robinson stolen the belt? And uh, Jay White's just saying, "I'm gonna win." Of course, I'm gonna win. I'm Jay White. I just won the belt for crying out loud. I'm not gonna lose this belt. I mean, come on, really? Head explosion. We know that's not gonna happen. <laughs> so after that, we got the um, the All Atlantic Finals. This is the four way match uh, between. Um, Malachi Black, Bastard Pock, uh, Clint C Cutter, C Connor, Connor, and Miro. Okay, I chose Miro to win this match, but <laughs> I knew he wasn't going to win because he's he's the only one with Pyro. I mean, if you've seen the match, he has gotten most of the offense. He is all powerful in this match. Um, I truly. When I started watching the match, I honestly thought that uh, uh, Connor was going to win. Uh, he's the only New Japan person uh, in the match. The other gentleman, I think, was running a high fever, so he could not um, he could not uh, get on the plane to go to America. Uh, so um, Malachi Black, I I. <laughs> Malachi Black uh, spit the uh, miss onto Miro. That got Miro completely out of the match. Um, 
he start uh Miro I mean uh, Malachi did a submission hold on to Connor on the top rope. There is Bastard Pock. Bastard Pock does that crazy Falcon. I mean that that arrow. I think it was what it's called. Uh, eliminating. Um, well, he, uh, taking Malachi out of the equation, throwing him out, and he does the Rings of Saturn on Connor to have him tap out to win. He is the inaugural All Atlantic Champion. I truly thought Miro was going to get that belt. I thought the belt was even crafted for him to win that belt. But it is what it is. Uh, Bastard Pock is another great choice to have that belt. And I respect him times 12. Connor is actually from America. So why why did he... Why, uh, anyway, I digress. Anyway, um, after that, we got the, uh, the triple threat because it's not a four-way because apparently somebody was injured. Um, so we had Shingo Kagagi. Uh, Sting and Darby Allen versus Young Bucks and El and El Fantasmo. Uh, he is part. He's a member of the Bullet Club as well. Um, they all came out, but when Sting music came, uh, Sting did not. He was not there. So we we're trying to figure out what was going on. Sting is uh uh in, in the, on the other end. Does a crazy sticker splash. Uh, the dude's like 50 something years old. Stop doing that. You're going to die. I mean, goodness gracious thing. I love you to death. Stop doing these crazy stunts. I told you I was not going to bet on sting. And of course I knew that they were going to win. Um, they did win, um, sting with crazy numerous stinger splashes left and right up and down. Um, but they did, uh, pull off the win. I love that 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 uh, stunner that Darby Allen does. Goodness gracious! Um, also, the Young Bucks do the um, they do those super kicks parties. They did it on Sting. Sting looked at them like you motherfuckers, and I mean, did not flinch. That's the crazy part about it. Sting is OP to be fifty some years old. Respect your times twelve. I enjoy Sting every time he wrestles. He is a he's a cut above everything. I don't know why he's still how he's still doing it, but he's still doing it. Respect to you. After that, we got the Thunder Rose and Tony Storm match, which was a very decent match. I love Tony Storm. I mean, Tony Storm is awesome. Love Tony Storm. And just like I said in my preview, her time is not yet. She's going to get that belt, but not yet. I give her a little bit of more time, okay? Um, Thunder Rose has just started. Let her let her do a little bit more with that belt. Um, so uh, we got that. Um, oh my god! Every time I see it, it just gets worse and worse. Uh, somebody's gonna get a whiplash. I mean, a concussion. You name it. Um, she does that hip toss um, from one side of the ring to the other side of the ring. I mean, it looks very nasty, very stiff. She's Australian, so of course it's gonna be very stiff. Um, Thunder Rosa did get the win. Uh, with that beautiful final reckoning. Um, so that's going to put Thunder Rosa back on the shelf. We will see who the next opponent will be for Thunder Rosa. Uh, great. It was a great match. I mean, all these matches are really good. I will suggest y'all to go watch them. Because <laughs> um, I am doing them no justice. They were really good. Um, after that, we got the uh, Orange Cassidy versus Will Ospreay. Uh, for the IWGP uh, United States belt. Um, man, this was one of the matches of the night for me. Um, oh my God. They, uh, they tore it up. I promise you, Orange Cassidy, to me, is a future world champion. I promise you. I love his intro. I love everything about Orange Cassidy. I don't know why Jim Carnett does not like Orange Cassidy or Will Will Osprey. I don't know why he doesn't like any of these people. I guess because of the flippity floppities. But man, like Orange Cassidy is really good. He's really good. So I don't understand that. It, it just troubles me that we we get you know really great wrestlers. Um, and I mean, but uh, <laughs> he did win. And that, I mean the match. I'm not gonna even. I mean, just watch it. Just watch it. At the end of the match, though. Uh, the United Empire did come out to attack um, 
everybody, I mean, well, not everybody, but to attack uh, Orange Cassidy, um, Kapongi Vice comes out to help, you know, but they still were kind of off, uh, off center. But um, we have a uh, a gentleman who was injured, and I think he was injured. Uh, that was a, a neck injury. Um, is it uh, Calabrata? Is it Calabrala? Calabrala? Or whatnot? Um, he came back to do something. You know, I mean, he did a little bit of something, but apparently, I guess he's back. I don't know. But um, he had a really nasty neck injury that um, apparently um, got him, you know, a career-ending injury. Apparently, he came back in the ring to do something, you know, so I don't know what's going to happen with that. I, uh, I mean, you know, wow. So we will see. Um, after that, we got the uh, Zach Sabre Jr. and mystery opponent. The mystery opponent is Cesaro. <laughs> um, his name is uh, Castro. Uh, is it uh, Castro? Can uh, I don't know something Italian. We're gonna say Cesaro for now until I can get it. Until I can get that right. Um, is it us uh, Claudio? Claudio? Claudio Castagori? I think it is. Um, very long match. Oh, this match was very long. I think this is probably the longest match on the card. Um, Cesaro did win. I mean, oh my God. It was very long. Very long. Very grueling. Um, you know, Cesaro, he is a grappler. That's what he does. He's a hardcore grappler. Very fast. Hopefully a future world champion as well because he is really good. He is also going to be part of the uh, Blackpool Fighting Club. And he will be a part of the match uh, for Wednesday at Blood and Guts with the double rings and the double, um, the double, uh, ed, the double, the double uh, cage. Um, after that, oh my God. It, it was long. It was very long. After that, we got the uh, semi main event between Adam Hangman Page versus Adam Cole, Kakushi Okada. And Jay White. Y'all, Jay White just won this belt like two, three weeks ago. We I you know he wasn't gonna lose, and on top of that, he wasn't gonna lose on an AEW um pay-per-view. Come on, y'all. You know this. It was a very decent match. I mean, I, I kinda knew I kinda thought that, you know, it was gonna be a two on two on uh two people against the other two. So it'd be like that, but you know, Jay White is not part of the Undisputed Elite. He is Bullet Club member. He is Bullet Club leader. I mean, you know, uh, Adam Cole is his friend, but he's going to try to do anything possible to keep keep this belt. And that's what he did. Um, he did the uh, sling blade onto Okada, threw him out. Um, if you don't know, um, Adam Cole is injured in real life he's he's injured so he's gonna be gone for a while after this um he uh throws okada out of the ring and uh you know adam cole is very hurt right now so he he pins adam cole to win and uh you know uh the undisputed elite goes out to try to talk to him um they pass uh jay white say nothing to him and you know they they help Adam Cole, but you know the uh, the story truly was that you know it was bad because I'm supposed to be your friend, and you you get attacked or whatnot. So I mean it was a it was a pretty decent match uh, for a Fatal Four Way, but Jay White had to do what Jay White had to do. It was a very weird ending, but I mean I understand the the storyline and why it had to happen. Uh, after that, we got the main event, which was, I thought, the match of the night, which was John Moxley versus Tanahashi. Um, Y'all knew that he was not going to take that belt back to Japan. Come on, really? Come on, come on. We all knew this was not going to happen. Um, jo John Moxley loves to bleed, you guys. I tell you this, uh, if you don't know where his origins are from, He's from ZZW, and ZZW is an advanced version of AE. I mean, of a, of ECW. 
So, if you know anything about hardcore wrestling, ZZW is that company. It's just brutal. Um, at the middle, in the middle of the match, I mean, he is leaking. I mean, he's, he's he can't even see. He's just he's leaking. So, uh, but um, he doesn't. He he actually doesn't win with the uh, Dirty D's or the Paradigm Shield. Uh, Tanahashi actually uh, jumped uh, 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 jumped out of that. Um, he wins. Uh, fuck out what he wins with, but he does win. <laughs> He does win. I mean, it's look, yeah, it's it was very long. I'm at 30 minutes right now telling y'all about this. Pay per view shouldn't be this long, but it was good. <laughs> it was really good. So, at the end of the match, um, he didn't even have the time to celebrate because Chris Jericho and the Appreciation Society, uh, Sports Entertainment, uh, came out <laughs> and beat the living shit out of everybody in the ring. After that, we got every, uh, all the other people come out. We had Eddie Kingston, uh, Santana, Ortiz came out. And then eventually we had Willa Yuta and, of course, um, Cesaro who came out. Um, so we didn't really get a, a you know, a happy, you know, uh, stuff falling down and all that stuff. We didn't get all that because, you know, Chris Jericho still has some unfinished business to take care of. Um, I can't wait until Blood and Gut, Blood and Guts Wednesday. We will see this double sided, double caged ring, and uh, once again, Chris Jericho uh, and group did win. So we will see what the advantage is with them. So, uh, what did you think? Uh, how would how would how did your predictions go as well? Um, like, share, and subscribe. Send it to everybody. Send it to the people you hate. Send it to the people you love. Send it to somebody for a birthday present. Maybe somebody likes wrestling and they don't know how to get back into wrestling. I'm the guy to do that. Especially for your average people. Because I'm an average man. <laughs> Truly average. And I do this because of y'all. I thank y'all so much. But until then, love, peace, and of course, wait for it, wait for it, wrestling.